So hello everyone, my name is Tejas and welcome back to my channel Self Study with Tejas. And if you are passionate about computer science and aiming to excel in the ICSO exam, then you are in the right place. So today we are going to learn ICSO Chapter 5 MS World 2016. So watch the video till the end and let's start. So Chapter 5 MS World 2016. So first question: Which of the following steps is used to insert ghosted text? Behind the content of the page to indicate that the document should be treated specially, such as sample, urgent, or confidential. So this ghostal text is also known as watermark, which we add by going in design design tab, page background group, and then watermark. So our correct answer here will be option number B. Now second question: Which of the following steps? When followed, will edit the data table on which the currently selected chart is based in the chart area. So first, we have to go in the chart tools, then chart design tab, then data group, edit data, and so our correct answer here will be option number A. So third question: Which of the following keys is used to move to the next cell in the MS Word table? A tab, B control, C shift, or D alt. So the tab button is used to to move to the next cell in a MS Word table. So our correct answer here will be option number A. Now fourth question: Which of the following statements holds true about the line numbers command? So statement one: It is used to add line numbers in the margin alongside each line of the document. So yes, this is correct. And now second statement it shows the line number where cursor is currently positioned. So no, this is incorrect. Which means our correct answer here will be option number A. Now fifth question: Which of the following, which of the following chart elements helps you to distinguish between series and data points and depicts the color of pattern assigned to series? So our correct answer here will be option number C, legend. Now sixth question: What are margins? So A, the amount of space between the text and the edge of the page on all four sides. So yes, this is correct. Which means our correct answer here will be option number A. So seventh question: Which of the following is the correct steps to insert line numbers in the margin along side of each line of the document? So to do that, we have to first go to the Layout tab, Page Setup group, and then Line Numbers. So our correct answer here will be option number C. Now eighth question: Identify the following feature. It splits the current window into two parts so that you can view different sections of the document at the same time. Second, it changes the ma uh, mouse uh, mouse uh, pointer to split. So this feature is for split. So our correct answer here will be option number C. Now ninth question: You can use different page format. Within the same document, by separating the differently formatted area with dash. So A page breaks, B word breaks, C section breaks, or D format breaks. So to do that, we have to use section breaks. So our correct answer here will be option number C. Now tenth question: Which key combination is used to show paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols? So to show paragraph marks and other uh, hidden formatting symbols, we have to uh, do Control Shift plus eight. So our correct answer here will be option number C. So eleventh question: The icon shown here is used to dash. A. Set the size of a page. B. Add line numbers in column. C. Add bookmark or D. Add effects in the current page. So the icon shown here is used to set the size of a page. So our correct answer here will be option number A. Now twelfth question: The command button is used to dash. A. Add or change border around a page. B. Change the theme's color of a document. C. Merge cells. D. Display smart art properties. So the command button is used to add or ch change border around a page. So the correct answer here will be option number A. Now thirteenth question: In table tools table design tab. Using shading, you can dash a specify a color, 
for the page background b specify color for the background behind the selected text or paragraph so yes this is correct which means the correct answer here will be option number b now 14th question the button shown here is used to insert a dash a blank page b page break c cover page break or d table so the button shown here is used for page break so the correct answer here will be option number b now 15th question which feature automatically moves the text in the current line to the next line when the text does not fit on that line or when the page margins are altered so a word wrap so yes this is correct which means the correct answer here will be option number a word wrap so 16 question how can you format a table a by changing the row height so yes this is correct now option number b by changing the column width so yes this is also correct now option number c by applying borders and shading so this is also correct which means the correct answer here will be option number d all of these now 17 question what does a ruler show a page width so yes this is correct b position of tabs columns etc so this is also correct so now option number c length of the document so yes this is also correct which means the correct answer here will be option number d all of these now 18 question which of the following options is present under merge group of table tools layout tab so our correct answer here will be option number a now 19 question to work on different sections of the document at the same time go to then view tab then windows group and then split which means the correct answer here will be option number a so 20th question which feature can you use to combine two or more cells into a single cell in a table so a insert cells no b delete cells no c merge cells so yes our correct answer here will be option number c now achiever section question number 21 given here is a snapshot of switch windows feature which of the following statements can be derived from the given snapshot so a forward documents are currently open b among the four documents doc 29 is the active document so yes this both are correct now option number c document name check link was opened most recently so yes this is also correct which means the correct answer here will be option number d all of these now direction question number 22 to 23 suppose you have inserted a table in a document as shown here now answer the following questions that follow now 22nd question how would the given table referred as table 1 would appear if you have selected the banded rows and banded columns option in the table style option so in banded rows even rows are formatted different from the odd rows and in banded column even columns are formatted different from the odd columns so the correct answer here will be option number a So 23rd question which of the following is a feature that would convert the table 1 into the kind of table shown here so to make the table show like this we have to access to the convert to text feature insert the table layout tab of the table tools data group and then convert to text so our correct answer here will be option number b convert to text now 24th question the given image shows the selection and visibility pane it displays the name of the shapes that you have inserted in the document so which of the following is the correct step to open this pane so to correct uh, the correct step to open this pane is by going in layout tab arrange group and then selection page so our correct answer here will be option number b now 25th question which of the following statement holds true regarding the given feature statement 1 it deletes a window containing a view of previously open document so no this is incorrect and now second feature suppose you are working on the current document name as document 1 <coughs> then we then when you click on the feature a new document with the name document 1 in 2 will be open so yes this is correct which means the correct answer here will be option number b so if you liked our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you